What's up guys, it's Axie here. I'm bringing you a quick little tutorial on how to use uh, cloners to clone objects behind a logo in your render. It makes for a pretty good backing and I have it on pretty much everything in my portfolio, so I thought it'd be a cool thing to share for a tutorial. I'm gonna start doing more of these now, but so first step, uh, you can really grab any kind of object you want here. There are a whole lot of nice ones. I just use pyramids, but I see people use like platonics or squares a lot also. So if you just grab a pyramid, it's going to be pretty big at first, so you're going to want to drop it down in size, probably somewhere between 20 and 30. I don't usually go lower than that, so let's just go right in the middle and drop 25 for each of the side blanks. So let's put that there. Then you're going to need a cloner, which is over in the MoGraph. Drop the pyramid into the cloner. And then put the cloner on the object. And then you're just going to want to go down to the Dare logo copy and paste it and then if you press C you can get these like folders that have like different uh, maps for it inside and since I have fillet caps I have this little rounding you don't really need to worry about that if you just have caps that won't even be there so just drag cap one out and then this is what you need for your cloner to get the whatever I guess object you chose to put behind the render this is gonna like make it stay so I have the cloner down here and then you just drag the cap one into the object and then it gets pretty messy. <laughs> so you're going to want to change the distribution from vertex to surface. So now you have a little bit less and you can change the count and seed. Uh, seed, you can just mess with that a bunch, it doesn't really matter, it's pretty random. We're going to drop a random cloner on this in a little bit so don't worry about that too much. We're going to make this probably 75 is what I usually do. And then you can see they're still pretty structured, so you're also going to want to drop a, a vector, get that random on there, and then it breaks it up pretty well. Uh, a little too well, actually, so I usually drop that to around 50 or 55. And then uh, also put on rotation. I usually put these on anywhere from like 25 to 50, depending on which one it is. This one I usually put a little bit higher, the bottom one. And then that just mixes it up, you know you know how it goes and then from here I always push this back a little bit so the triangles actually make a backing instead of being all over the thing here just because the seed and a couple other reasons it looks like this is pretty close up on the render so I'm probably gonna drop these back a little bit to like 60 or so so it'll spray this out let's make it like 65 yeah, that's good. You can also bump up this like anywhere from 50 to 60. I wouldn't recommend too much more than that unless you have your perimeter down or else it'll just like totally space out. Unless you want that, that could be pretty cool. I just like mine closer to the logo. But so if you take your cloner, this is how I get those. Uh, for some of these, they'll have like bars around them and then some are just triangles like straight up without a uh, like mat inside or like a solid object. So I take one and I make it Admiray. Uh, drop all these down to about 0.5. I wouldn't go more than one because like even on a one it looks pretty bulky At least for the cylinder radius like look at that. I don't know if that's what you want if you're into that Hey, man, go for it, but I'm gonna drop 0.5 and then I also bump up the cloner here I usually go about 125 so then you get some of those like blank triangles and they make a really nice, you know uh, Aesthetic for the 3d banner Yeah you can do this with a ton of different shapes. Looks pretty nice. Solid backing. Have it on like everything in my port, literally. Should probably start changing up that. But you know, it's cool. We're good. Catch you later, guys.